Hello and welcome back to some Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. We're finally playing the team path today. We've done the wits path with our original playthrough, and then I did the um, the action path in one sitting, which surprised me that I was able to get through uh, that quickly. That took me about three hours total to get through that path. So today we're doing team. We'll see how long that takes, and I'll try to do it in one sitting. If I don't, then I don't. But I think Indy's about to bust through a window. There he goes. And <laughs> Jones, how are you gonna find that statue and all this junk? By remembering all of the things. So yes, I'm gonna do it from the beginning again. I thought about doing it from the save file, but um I'm gonna start from the beginning. Oof. Just because there's two puzzles where um there's two puzzles that have different outcomes in the beginning. The first is trying to get into the theater to see Sophia. That one you can um apparently fight the guard to get in, so I want to try that, and that determines which of the three paths you're going to go on. And the other one... I know to click. Gaping hole. <laughs> Rope by gaping hole. And the other one is the collection that you get in the beginning when you're searching for the statue. I forget. So, one time I got the, um where you had to like find the key in the attic. One time I got using this bookcase over here. And then, um... Yeah, I'm curious if I get the third one. Maybe that also is dependent on how I solve the first puzzle. But, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Still look familiar. Yeah, no, because you're about to get crushed. So you'll see how much of the beginning bits I keep in, just because it's nice to go back and watch these again and see the different scenes and connect it to things that I've already done. So I'll go through a little bit at the beginning. But um, yeah, I want to see if I can get those two different puzzles and then we'll meet up again when we do the team path branch. So yeah, see you on the other side of that. Better get that roof check. All right, so first things first, we are going to pick up the newspaper and I think that's the only thing we need here. And then I'm going to talk to this bouncer. Fight him. <laughs> Fight the bouncer. This is me double checking. I'm, I'm here for like three hours. I'm like triple checking all of my recording because if I don't have this figured out, um, I am going to irritate them. Um, yeah, but I don't have this figured out. It's bad. Extra. Is that an insult? What do you think? Extra careful. Fancy Dan College Boys who use big voids, and I think you better apologize. Fancy Dan College Boys. Why should I, you fat tub of lard? That's it, white guy. Put up your dope. Just pick the one where I saw the word fat. Oh gosh, how do I fight again? Um, yep. Yeah, okay. It's just clicking. <laughs> That's good. Easy. Great. The bigger they are, well, you know. Into the door. Now that I have murdered this man. <laughs> Excuse me. Aha! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. Describe how it was divided into three circular This parts. is this is I love seeing here. the the layout of Atlantis after knowing what it looks like and it's just it's the same. It's it's a nice little nice little foreshadowing that I would never have picked up on the first one. Which is cool to see. What befell the serene? Oh and this is where we get to see her talk about Nurab Sal. Was it the sea level? Slowly Talk about Nurab Sal. I'm gonna skip through this until she talks about Nurab Sal. Or perhaps it was a volcanic eruption and something on some questions. The great spirit who guides my thoughts. All seeing Nurab Sal. <sighs> Nurab Sal. I love him. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. <sighs> Hello. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my big sight now. Go away. His voice is so ridiculous. 
not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. So quiet. So Norse. <laughs> Images of land and sea and great at last. <laughs> Goodbye, fellow seekers. Just say at last I have the thing. <laughs> I'm oh, skipping over yeah. things, but that line is interesting. Now we're gonna pick up the B. I'm doing pretty good. I haven't had to like pause yet. I'm I'm remembering the order of things. He missed the Oric Alcum bean. So, doing good. We're doing good. No, I need to take the Orc Halcom to Iceland. Yep. That was it. I don't need to go to the Azores just yet. Please let me. Thank you. No, stop walking. This is his house? This is it. Well, bye. <laughs> he wants to look at the eel. I remember it now. Come on, let's go. Yep, Heimdall's frozen. <laughs> Such a shame. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Take it up. Too bad he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. A little too dedicated. Let's give that to Cust. Uh, yes. This this took me so long in the beginning. How far am I in? Fifteen minutes, and we're already we're already getting the yield Costa. This was like three hours. <laughs> Last time. The first time, rather. Let's head for the airport. But this Costa scene does take a while, so I'm not looking forward to that. Now listen care. The last dialogue of Plato is in the Sprague collection. I've done Sprague before, but it could be different. I think so. Very good. Because when I looked at them the second time, they were different. Sprague. You know something? I believe Barnett College owned. Okay, we don't need to go back now. <laughs> I want to skip this, but the Nazi scenes are so fascinating and so over the top. I can't. I can't. Look here, concealed in the base is a small shiny bead. The bead inside the statue's open mouth. You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of. Well, I look for the spray collection. No thanks. I'll meet you in your office. All right, I have no idea when my microphone went out, but um. <laughs> We got the spray collection again, but to be determined if that's going to be um, the same as the last time I got the spray collection. So we'll see. I'll be curious. I believe it's part of. Ah, dang it! Okay, it's the same one again. That's a shame. All right. Well, I will solve that and then, I suppose, meet you back. <laughs> I still. So I never got to do the one in the basement. That's a shame. It's a darn shame. Uh, well, don't just go find. I need to get the freaking weird mayonnaise. I should have cleaned it out. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. This is why I'm not excited for the team path. Is Sophia's attitude is generally poor. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go in the basement. I'm just gonna take this motor oil mayonnaise, put it on a statue, open up a chest. Dig around some ashes, that's what this one is. Whatever. He's an archaeologist, he knows what he's doing. Oh yeah, and last time I like I forgot how um Oh, I don't have to do the arrowhead. Oh, that's so nice. I forgot how easy the first world stone, moonstone, whatever was. And I had I thought that it was just the action path being easier on me than the wits path. But it was I just forgot that that's how easy it was to do the first world stone. It's just like a symbol. You match up a symbol and it's fine. Which I'm excited to do again. Just just go, no, just go, just go. 
going to the door. I got it. I got it. All right, I'm ready to go. Not so first. I'm going to look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. I hope you don't mind that I'm like skipping through a lot of the dialogue, but I'm speeding this up a little bit. But yeah, less than 30 minutes great strength of character. to get to the, uh, the branch. But you're better with your fists than your head. I foresee combat and Um, I'd rather take this together with you. I'd rather tackle this together with you. Are you tackle, take, whatever. Sure? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. We should team up. Should team up. Okay, if that's how you feel, we'll go together. Let's do it. Um, I'll be running the show. That is true. Still catch nights, Clipper. Alright. Don't get any funny ideas. I'll be running the show. You make it sound so romantic. This is not romantic. <laughs> she annoys me so much. <sighs> All right, uh, I think we need to get the business card for Monte Carlo first. Talk to Alain Trottier. People say that this is their favorite path though, so I'm curious. I've also, I've, I'm leaning back a little more. Just FYI. The angle's weird. I'm just super chill. Um, I had no idea Monte Carlo was the lost city. I'm gonna be a smart ass. <laughs> City. Don't start with the indie. It's Trottier we're after. Oh man. Well, what does Trottier look like? I'm just gonna piss her off the whole time. No, I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. Okay, I'll try to find him. It's him. No, it's not. Good. I saw the yellow and I got excited. He used to have one of the three but it was a woman. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. I'm sorry, a what now? A seance? I'll go get ready. I just want the business card. I don't. What? What? What's this seance nonsense? Hey there. I don't think that's him. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Sorry, no. Is that him? But he always wears a flower. In yeah, I was looking bed. for the flower. I thought there was like something yellow. Is that him? That looks like him. Excuse me. Is that a flower? Are you Alan Trottier? Well, perhaps. Okay, Just good. <laughs> uh, Dr. Indiana Jones. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Direct. Jones, Jones, I believe I've heard of you. Yes, Doesn't look like a flower. Archaeologist. That is me. That's about the world's greatest adventure. That's, That's me. me. And I am Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional mm. dreamer. Normally, I spend my nights at home, but the book of changes indicated, well, simply put, a change. And here I bump into you. Ah, uh, what good fortune. <laughs> Madame Sophie is in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear being fooled by fakers. To be sure, you are a true believer. Answer me this. Why did the Atlanteans build their huge colossus? I know this. Um... To make themselves like gods. Remember. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. I can I think I do. <laughs> All right. Trade wisdom. I don't want to freak him out too much. Oh, he might be really into that fortune reading stuff. This woman's show is dynamite. Madam Sophia wisdom. would like to trade her wisdom for yours. Well, I'm sure she would. And steal my secrets. What kind of idiot you take me for? Oh, no, but the- oh. That's not him. And you're just gonna stand here awkwardly until Alain Trottier walks out again, and then I'm gonna. Monsieur Trottier? Yep. Yes? <laughs> Why don't you stop being such a jerk? Sorry about being so rude. I do not believe your sincerity. If you. No, 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 no. Monsieur Trottier? Yes? Um. Hey, it's my only other option. 
Okay, I messed this up. Sophia? <gasps> oh. Did you find our man, Indy? I pissed him off. Where's Trottier? I've tried and that fool won't come up here. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that possibility. Just drop Nurab Sal's name. Okay, I will try that. This is fun, there's a whole interior here. Jesus Christ, Indy. <laughs> Indy. Ratia, <sighs> where are you? I am glad that Trottier spends most of his time walking back and forth inside and out of this hotel. Makes my job easier. <laughs> Ish. If he ever freaking shows up. Da -da 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 -da. Bastard. Monsieur Trottier? Here we go. Name drop. Yes. Nurabsal. You're in. I just want you to know I work for Nurabsal. For Nurabsal. Did you say Nurabsal? Well, yes. Perhaps you're not the buffoon I took you for. Yes. No. Excuse me while I consider this. That makes me not a buffoon. What? Okay. The door is closed. I open. Mm. Is that you, Jones? Y yes. Where's Trottier? Yes. I have no idea where he is. I don't want to say let's move on. Get back out there. See what's in this room. Oh. The flashlight. It's empty. I close it. I just like closing things. All right. Um. Fuse it's a box. fuse box. I open it. Uh. Look at the circuit breaker. It's the main power switch for the room. Oh, interesting. And so, okay, lights will go out. Need to use the flashlight. Oh, for the seance. There must be a sheet under here. Doesn't seem to open. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna pretend to be a ghost with a flashlight. <laughs> Great. Trottier is considering it. This is taking longer than it usually does. <laughs> it's usually one conversation and we're good with this guy. <sighs> Trottier, Trottier, why is it? Ah, oh, thank you. So hard to get from that angle. Hello, again, Dr. Jones. Hello it is me. Um, just please come upstairs. Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I am not sure. Uh, take a chance. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. I don't need this woman's counsel. I don't need anything, but I'm curious. So I'll do it. Please lead the way. Yay! Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. I'm assuming it's like a giant candle on the table. Here? Sure is. Okay, Trottier is all yours. Oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then. I'm really excited for how this is gonna go down. Oh, I'm her. I'm gonna power. Nurabsal demands proof of your sincere belief. Well, I have this stone key from the lost city. It should prove my worth to Monsieur Sal. Would you look at that? Very good. Very good indeed. Now let's begin our communion with that great spirit. Uh, one moment, madame. We've never met before. You could be an imposter. If you really have psychic powers, tell Psych. me. Why was I taking a stroll when I first met Dr. Jones? How should I know? Read my mind, or read Dr. Jones' minds if you prefer. I told him everything. 
Did he? Hmm, let me think. Oh, he did. Book of Changes. The Book of Changes told you to. I was like, I don't hmm, remember I that. Say. <laughs> yes, he did say that. Fear? Uh, Nazis. Oh gosh. Mm. You fear fakers. Aha, uh -huh. that is intriguing. What is my greatest need? Ah, uh, new advisor of the truth. Money need nothing. You need nothing. Hmm, you don't say. Now then, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? What kind of stupid question is that? The answer depends on pure chance. Not if you're truly psychic. Don't worry, I won't cheat. How many fingers? Well, all I can do is try a wild guess. Uh, three. Three. I am very disappointed, <sighs> madame. You have failed my little test. Okay, um... Yes. I'm afraid Nurab Sal is temperamental tonight. We're setting something up. Bad. Another time, perhaps. Oh. Au revoir. Guess I didn't pass the test. Hmm. I'll say I'm taking control of this team. <laughs> okay, so I need to get him back. Well, let's talk to Sophia. Something that we should do slightly more often. I'm sorry, Indy. Uh... Gee, it's tough to make a living as a psychic. I can't help it. Sometimes my spirit guide <laughs> just doesn't show up. Alright, it looks as though my microphone has gone out in this point, which this is the only bad time it happens, but I don't think we missed too much. So basically, for the next eight minutes or so, I go back and forth between, you know, getting Trottier, getting back into the room. I notice that I have the circuit breaker, the flashlight, and the bed sheet, so obviously, you know, scary ghost. So I try that for a while, and nothing really works. Sophia keeps mentioning that something might be missing from my costume, but I can't find anything else in the room, and I can't find anything else outside so I get the bright idea that what I need must be an Algiers and I'm specifically hoping for a knife because I'm thinking like oh to cut holes in the in the sheet so uh, when we do eventually get to Algiers I am excited to see that the first thing is a knife thrower when we get there um, I talk to the beggar again I don't get too much more information from him and I talk to the knife thrower and then I mentioned this right when the mic comes back on but uh, there was this puzzle where we're trying to convince Sophia to join the or volunteer for knife throwing. And she keeps saying, saying things like, oh, you can't nudge me to do that or you wouldn't be able to push me um, with all caps on nudge and push. And I thought that that was a good little puzzle, a little um, a push, if you will, to uh, get me to the right spot. So that's all we really missed in this 15 minute um, <laughs> mic outage. So... Thank you for sticking with it. And this is the only one in the whole video, so you're good. <laughs> this is going to be a very long day if my microphone keeps going out and I, yeah, it keeps doing that. So this is, this is, this is fun. Grosser. So yes, I don't know when to cut up, but yeah, with the knife throwing, I, I liked how I did the nudge and then the push, because the nudge I thought might be something, but the push, I was like, that's definitely telling me what to do. <laughs> um, where do I find, uh, yeah, looks good. I know where to find them. We have a special squawk on a stick, only 20 dinars. Oh, he is. An interesting voice. Ah, uh, yes, dinars. You accept U.S. currency? Sorry, no. All of my quest for glory toing. The squad would sure hit the spot. 20 dinars, if any. Maybe we can make a deal. Do I want the squab? Uh... I'll trade this beautiful knife for a squab. I already have several of those knives. The knife thrower has notoriously bad aim. <laughs> uh, hold squab. the squab. Be back later. I'm not trading my leather jacket. Okay, so we're, um... We have available squabbage. I'm gonna see what his story is. Excuse me. 
What can I do for you, Appendi? He's different. I think he's actually Omar this time. He's not, um... What's Paul Abdul? <laughs> Are you Mr. Omar Al-Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Are you actually gonna sell me pots? Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the Lost Kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? One of my one of my Google speakers just went haywire somewhere. I don't know what he said. Um, I don't think I've got anything that would convince you. I don't. Yeah, I didn't listen to him. Unless you possess one of the stone keys that open the gates of Atlantis. I will possess one shortly. Okay. Let's go back to uh, Trottier in my beautiful costume that will soon have holes in it, which will help. The end. I'm gonna go upstairs first, man, prepare the whole costume thing, and then I'm gonna find Trottier. Uh, it's a bed sheet. Pick up the flashlight. And then hopefully. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Well, we'll see if, if the bloodstained knife just if I hold a bloodstained knife. <laughs> Maybe that'll convince him <laughs> that I'm a scary ghost. <sighs> Thank you. Well, hello again, Doctor. Please come back upstairs. Madam Way. So at blah 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 blah. The lights, what happened to the lights? Uh I think Nurap Salad. Yep. Okay, we're gonna use the bed sheet, use the flashlight, and use the bloodstained knife. I don't with... think that'll work. Oh no. I don't think that'll work. I'll turn off the flashlight while I'm at it. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. This is a horrible idea. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. I can, um, let me look at the stone disc. Must he be wandering around? It makes me nervous. Dr. Jones, if... Mm -hmm. It's empty. It's the main power switch for the room. If I turn it back on? I'll turn off the phone. Oh, the lights are on again. Nurab Sal works his ways in shrouded mystery. Now is not the time. The lights, what happened to the... Uh Is he trying to scare me by wearing that sh Real? Okay, using the knife for the disc was not it. Well, madame, I've seen enough. Why? It was entertaining, despite the interruptions. Au revoir. Okay, I might have to do some... Turn the lights on, will you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lost... Great move. It seemed like... Stop on sec... Maybe you're go... All right. Into the depths of UHS, Universal Hint System. Found it. Hint 14 out of 15. Listen. Actually, I have a save. I have a save in Algiers. So I'm going to go back to that one. Uh, what looks good today? Please I'll talk to him about the squab again and then You accept US currency? Sorry. Oh, squab 20. But I don't have to, you don't. <laughs> you don't get a squab. Okay, so Omar's shop has a mask. According to hint 14 out of 15, I did not see it. Oh, hi. Honey, looks there. Like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Sal. Pick it up. Okay, I can just have that then. Wait one minute. So you think you can just stroll out of here without paying? Yes? No? Well, how much does it cost? 
that mask? On second thought, you can have it. It's been scaring away all my best customers. Oh, well. Thank you. <laughs> that was easy. <sighs> Back to Monte Carlo. I saw the mask there, like, the first time. I, like... I don't know, when I went back, I was like, oh, that thing, I did, I did see it. I didn't connect that it was not part of the scenery, but I need to learn to look more, even at places that I've been before. That is what I am learning. Cause I'm, look I'm looking a lot in the hotel room, because I've never been in the hotel room. I'm curious what's all in there. The places like Omar's shop, I'm not looking around, and I need to remember to look around, despite having been there before, and I'm talking in circles for no good reason. Trottier! Just a moment, monsieur. Well, hello again, Dr. Jean. He's a very patient man for doing this like 17 times. <laughs> While a strange man walks around in a ghost costume most of those times. Keep him busy. All right. Thank you for yeah. Let a smile be your umbrella. Let a smile be your umbrella. Yep, it's no rub cell. I forgot that I put all those things back. Pick up the flashlight. Good. Use the bed sheet. Use the flashlight. Use the mask. Oh. Spooky. <laughs> well done, Indy. You mean Nurab Sal? Sprite. It looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Clotier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's, Let's head go to back Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine, I'll hail a cab while you get changed. I have been to North Africa with you to get this I mask. Put the flashlight back. Okay. Wait for me! No, I'm just gonna go to Africa without you. Mmm, to Africa. At least it's a short trip. All right, now I get to show Omar the disc and then he, or that's not Omar, I don't know. Again, I wasn't listening because my Google is going crazy and I'm afraid to say that word now. All right, give but more of a show. Excuse me, I think this may interest you. <laughs> this thing. It is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. This looks like one of them. A sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? Didn't I tell him? Whatever. My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. Then you are Al-Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. Okay. Let's get out of business, shall we? What do you know about Atlantis? How do we get to the dig site, I wonder? Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. Yeah, how do I get there? I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. Whose dig is it? The European Nazis. Germans, I believe. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. He's much nicer in this version. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. Don't you, like, fight him in the action in one? I forget. We'll go. We will? I remember the wits when you, like, put him in a closet, You'll never and then just the he yells things at you. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. We'll never give up. <laughs> okay, we give up. Well then, let it be as God wills it. Come, I'll lend you my map. Alright, I got the map. Got the camels. I have a feeling we'll be outrunning Nazis on camels. Last one was like an air balloon for the action path. Um, at least I don't have to follow the 
godforsaken red fez guy. A few minutes later, I just arrived at the dick site? No. Later, I just arrive at the dick site. What's happening? What's happening? I'm not sure I'll figure it out as soon as they say words. You've returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? We're just skipping it? Oh. Marvelous, but we didn't find anything. This is odd. The desert guards its secrets, Doctor. By the way, do you still have that mask I gave you? Probably. Yeah, I have it. Got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. Oh. What will you give me? That Squab. <laughs> do you have anything in mind? What do I want? Make an offer. Well, how about? These Why do you want it back? It's been autographed by your country's Luke Gehrig. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll take it. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this voodoo doll? It was cut from trees in the black forest. I want that. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Interesting. It's got spit all over it. Oh, what? I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Spit goo encrusted. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I trade it again? What can I do for you, Fendi? That's so gross. Can I trade my Do you have any Make an offer? <sighs> what do you got? This little red uh no. No thanks. How about this yellow yo yo? No. <sighs> well, that doesn't appeal to me. What how about this beautiful white cane? Yeah, sure, I'll take that. I just, I take it. Loki just don't want this voodoo doll in my inventory. Great, the paint's still wet. I don't, I don't even, I don't know what's happening. Maybe I'll find something that I need. Hmm, the only mark on this map is one big X. Okay, can I go to the city streets? We'd better not go out there. We'll just get lost. Okay, I'll see if he wants the cane for the squab. Excuse me. Yes? I could really use some squab. 20 dinars, if any. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? No, no. Um. Will you trade a squab for this finely crafted cane? Mm hmm. I'm sorry, Effendi, but I cannot make that trade. Although that shade of white fits perfectly in my house. I've got another making. Do you want to see what else? I'll give you my fine leather jacket for a squab. No chance. This heat don't be absurd. Okay. Hold the squab. What? 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 Okay, I don't. I don't know. What? What? What are we trying to get? We're trying to get to the dig site. But like we've been to the dig site. I'm Excuse so me. confused. Yeah. Can I trade my cane for something? Do you have anything in mind? Audio just got weird. Something white would be anything. Make an offer. Well, these lovely bar of soap. Um. Uh, how about these charming ivory? Let's take that. I'll take. So I want more information from the guy. Okay, so I want. So I want to keep doing this. I want to keep offering things to the dude. And then he'll keep giving me information. Excuse me. Then I'll narrow things down to talk to the yeah. pot guy. I'd like to make another I'm listening. If you give me a squab, I'll give you these ivory earrings. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, Fendi, but I cannot make though it is a pleasant. Hold the squab, I'll be back in set. How about these lovely I'll take the bar of soap. I don't want the cane. This 
feels like an offensive gift. Excuse me. Yeah. I like. Mm, this is perfect gift for my mother. Oh. And it's so color coordinated. I should have taken this up from the beginning. But now I have a squab. Why? Squab, huh? <laughs> Looks like a barbecued pigeon. I'd rather not. It doesn't look very appetizing. Okay, so he doesn't let me eat it, which is good. Um. Now what can I talk to Omar about? And can I go out into the desert? Is the other question. Excuse me again. Yes. Nice shop. I like to think so. Pots. Little pots. Big pots. It says drink Elliot's rose water in Arabic. All right, nothing more seemingly new here. So I'm gonna see if I can walk out to the desert with my map. Then to the dig site. But maybe if he goes to the dig site with a squab. I don't know. Well, what if I give the squab to the guy? Excuse me. You bring food? Yes. Here. Thank you, Effendi. Here's your free gift. Balloon it's ride. Day pass, Kareem sightseeing tours. Uh, oh, which is up here, right? Yes, yes, yes. I got my walk to the roof. Things I forgot were a thing. <laughs> Lovely. I'm just gonna actually no, let's talk to the balloon man. If you have ticket, you see sights. If not, you don't. <laughs> it's a great policy. <laughs> Will this do? A valuable all-day pass. Today the skies are yours, Effendi. Wonderful. Looks like it's ready to go. Let's do it. Um. Hmm, the only mark on this map is one big X. Hey, down there. Is the view not a great beauty? Can't get enough of it. Ah! Then I leave you to gaze for a few more minutes. Okay, so I so I, I gaze. What am I gazing at? I don't think that'll work. What am I doing? I thought I, I what I What? Look at the rope. It keeps the balloon from drifting away. Oh. We're free. <laughs> Suck it, loser. Okay, um, I... Okay. Alright, so I don't know where I want to go. But I do remember how this works. Village there, nomad camp. Okay, yeah, it's right click and left click. Nope, didn't mean to go there. Um, when I said I remember how this Aren't works, that doesn't mean. Okay. Listen. I want to go to the balloon. Okay, we're back up. I wanted to go to that camp, but I failed miserably. I need to go this way. I need to go that way, and then I need to go down. Okay, let's go up and south and Did we make it to the nomad camp? I think we did. Here, guard the balloon. Okay. What do you make of this map? 
this act considerably to the thanks for the info considerably to the east okay Nope, 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 didn't. Ugh. I hate balloons. Stay here and guard the balloon. Okay, we want to go up. I want to go east. Nope, 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 nope. A few screens to the east. We'll go a little north there. I'm gonna go one more screen to the east and then figure out how to get to whatever camp is there. And then they will direct me to where I need to go. Nope, I that camp there. Go up a little bit and then vent a lot. We're going to do the loop again and Oh, we're perfect on it. We are perfect. That was beautiful. Stay here and guard the balloon. What do you make of this map? This X a little to the south. That's a thanks for the little to the south. Doing great. Oh, it's right there. Uh, <laughs> south. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do that, and then I can go to do 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 do. Missed it. Stay here and guard the balloon. Sophia. Oh, we made it to the dick site. Good job, everyone. Jeez. I saw my balloon ticket. That, as always, was a thing. <sighs> Let's see how this differs. Look what we found an abandoned dig site. Wait, where are you going? I sense the presence of Nurab Sal. I should have guessed. Indy! Hold on, Sophia. <sighs> Indy! Sophia! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The walk to the ladder is still rough. I should have looked at the truck just to double check if that was going to be a thing, but we'll go down and see what's there. And the light does adjust after a while, so it will get easier. Um, sharp wood thing, long tubular thing. It feels like a sharp stick of wood. It's a ship rib. 
It feels like a portable generator. It feels like an on-off switch. Use it. Nothing's happening. Maybe it's out of gas. There's a long tubular thing. It's either a hose or a sleeping snake. Pick I up hope the... it's a hose. Pick up the hose. Okay, so now I have that. Touch the wall. It feels like a wall. But there should be a yeah metal cap. There it is. Should just go get gas first. Um, oh, I need a jug. There might be one out there. There's, there's a metal cap. It feels like a gas cap. Now it's open. Okay. Um. Let's go get gas. <laughs> Please have a container of some sort in the car. That's my dream. That's my dream. That's my dream. There we go. I can't pick that up. No, I don't want the door. There's a there's a thing there. Can I pick up the spark? Come out. Okay. The engine's missing a spark plug and a distributor cap. The engine won't start for some reason. Okay, um... Just a seat, that's not a container. That gas tank, there! That's where the gas is. Oh, no. I can't pick that up. So I need to get the gas. Open the gas tank, use... I need a container. Back down, or mm, a little bit of wandering. The tents are empty. The whole place looks abandoned. No, no. Okay. See if there's a container down there. Play thing. There we go. I have not looked at the table. I didn't realize that the table is an option. It's jammed in the hole. Got no. I better not get too near that hole. I might fall in too. I can't move it. Okay. Just wanted to double check. Use. Okay. So we're gonna. That's enough. The jar is full. Great. Oh wait, 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 wait. Pick up the hose as well. There we go. Where is the freaking gas fill or pipe? Why is there gas fill or pipe? This is where the gas goes. <laughs> Use that with the jar. I've emptied the jar into the pipe. Okay. Um, now if I use the switch, which is somewhere, yes, use the little metal thing, please. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, um, ooh, wooden peg. It's an ancient wooden peg of some sort. Right, I can use the ship rib with the wall again. There's a mural behind this crumbling rock. Nice. It's a map of the island of Crete with a hole in the middle. Hmm, didn't oh. I read about that in the Lost Dialogue? I'll put the peg in, and then I can use the sunstone. Okay, let me, okay, let's look at what I need to do with the sunstone for this. Sunset made the tall horns red. Ruby. Sophia? Open that door and Sophia pops out. Nice. Got my teammate back. I thought you were going to leave me in there. Nah, probably not. Believe me, I was tempted. 
Lucky you didn't. Here's something we may need. Oh, nice. A distributor cap. It fell on my head when I sank into the Oh, for the car. A spark plug? What is it? Oh. It's an amber fish on a string. I can see that. <laughs> to look for Oracalcum. How should I know? I suppose you've come up with something more interesting. Maybe. Look where the sunstone is centered on the mural. The island of Crete. I'll bet Crete is where we'll find a greater colony of Atlantis, Plato mentioned. That sounds possible. Let's go. The do it. Pick up the stone disc. Uh, can I pick up the peg? I can. And then I think I need the spark plug. From here. Yes. I better turn the generator off first. Oh. I better turn the generator off first. Thought he was gonna just do it. Uh, come on, where's the button there? Pick up. Ceramic thing. Oh, spark plug. Just the one. Okay, let's just let's see if that works, and then we'll get out of here. What do you know? A perfect fit. A perfect fit. It fits. All right, close the hood. Use the truck. Don't no don't no stop doing. Nope. Use the truck. Let's book passage to Crete, Sophia. <sighs> okay, I'm sure. Okay, great. Did it. <sighs> See, this is where last time I was like, oh, oh, my mom's calling. Give me one second. Hello. I'm good, how are you? Okay, I'm off the phone with my mother. That took like 20 minutes, as it always does. Um, no bad news, so I felt... Uh, you always well, that didn't do anything. This microphone, I swear to God. Okay, so I, I I was looking at it, I was watching it the entire time I was talking to my mom. Actually, no, it was working right when I got back too. Anyways, we're at Crete. We need to get another stone disc. I'm sure we didn't have to do the U-boat. That's kind of nice. So I'm sure that we have something over here now in order to get the other stone disc because the sunstone on its own won't work. So we need to walk down this path and see what else is here. Last time it was that crazy, like, what was it? What's the name of the tool? Yeah, this thing. The surveying tools, that was it. So we'll see what it is this time. And this is nothing. I'm going to assume that this is going to be similar to what it was on the action path. And just explore until I find items. Yep. There it is. It's a surveyor's transit, useful for measuring angles and laying out straight lines. Okay, pick up the transit. And then, can I walk down here? There's the tall horns. How do I get down there? Do I need to go down? Well, I need to go down. Oh, I need to go down here. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think that's the only thing I needed from there. And I need to use the surveyor's tools with the horns. Hey, no, go down. Indy. Bad Indy. I, okay. I don't know how he goes where he goes. <laughs> so right now I'm looking for like objects because there's nothing really in most of these. I don't know where he is. There. Yeah, nothing in there. This up here is familiar. This is also familiar. Use the transit with I the stones. On these stones. I push stones I with. Don't think that'll work. Use transit with 
those stones? Or I, mean, I look at the stones. It's a pile of rubble. Look at those stones. It's a pile of rubble. Hmm. How different is this going to be from the action path? I wonder. Same. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nope. Look at the mural. It's an ancient diagram of some kind. There's a bull's head, horns, and tail. The lines appear to converge on that circle. Could the circle be one of the stone discs? Okay, so I need to find... Yes, okay, I need to find the bull's head, and I need to find the tail. All they're holding now is air. Okay, and those are going to be ones like over here, ones over there. Okay, I'm going to walk to this last entrance, and then I'm going to walk over there and find the horn and the tails. Now I can look at the stones, I think, and that will get me what I need. This took me like an hour <laughs> on the action path. Maybe it's these are the tail and the horns and that's where the disc is. It's a pile of rubble. Hmm, this Oh wait, 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 what was that? It's a pile of rubble. Excuse me. Well No, I didn't mean to talk to Sophia. Look loose. Let's look around. Okay. I didn't even look at what I could say. Statue here. Nice. So I use the transit with the statue. Look at that. And then... Where are the bull's head horns? Hello! <laughs> That's nice. Okay, um... Like, there? I see a door. See a door. Okay. And these stones... It's a pile of rubble. They won't move. It's gotta be another pile around here. Where's the other pile? I have to walk so much. I think I need to pick up the transit anyways. It's a pile of rubble. Hmm, the stuff is a statue here. Nice. Uh, uh let's look it's at a the statue. statue. Okay. So I'm gonna actually pick up that transit. Oh wait, I need to find another transit. Hello. I see dirt. I see the right horn. Nice. Okay, I need to see the horns. So if I pick it up and then use it on that, I think I need two. I forget where the other one is. Clearly. <laughs> Hello. I see the left horn. Hello, what's this? Oh, never mind. This is where the survey lines triangulated. Can I dig? There's a stone disc down here. It's got a nice. hole in the middle and little moons carved into the surface. It must be one of the moonstones Plato wrote about. Yay, I got the stone. Is that all I need to get in? Is that the last bit? I spent like 30 minutes talking to my mom on the phone and I'm still 40, 40 minutes short, but it helps that I've done this thing before. Let's see. Let's wait. Oh wait, no! There's a whole there's a whole different thing to get to the labyrinth. Never mind. We're nowhere near done. I fell into this trap before. Not falling into it again. Walk faster, Indy. Alright, what is This was taken a long while ago when I thought we might like each other. Great. Um Alright, so, sunstone, sunset, with the horns, moonstone, sun dying as a new moon is born. Sorry. Why am I failing? New moon, sun dying. So, that darkness- no! 
Why am I stupid? New moon. That one. What do you know? A secret door. <sighs> Sometimes I don't do thinking great. I'm gonna do a save. It's been a while since I've done a save, and I just feel like it's worth doing a save. <laughs> into the secret entrance. What will we find here in this labyrinth? So, the legend of a labyrinth hidden under the ruins of Gnosis is true. The legend of Atlantis isn't any more far-fetched. Maybe it's true, too. I think the last stone disc and Atlantis are waiting for us somewhere beyond that door. Let's go beyond that door. All right, let's get the head out of here. Another walk back in there. Oh yes, um, pick up. I can't pick that up. Statue head. Pick up that statue head, and then we get the last one. I actually did not see the statue heads until we went back in there. Stay away from the door. All right, got the three statue heads, and then I don't know where I'm going. We need a little fish doodad. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. It must be detecting the orcalcum residue. Okay, so if I so when I do need to use that, I need to get Sophia's necklace into the box. So we'll wait until we get that. Let's use our statue heads. Wait, no, we just walked on top of this one. Wait, um... Sophia, come on. Come on the thing. Fine. Get behind me, Sophia. I find it interesting that they use, like, elements from the different paths during, like, the other paths. It must like, be a primitive elevator of some sort. Because when we get here past Costa, there's the thing that you can't use. It's that weird door with the chain on the other side. That I assume you can only use on the team path. I always thought Mr. Otis invented the elevator. Yeah, well, this is our floor. Thanks, Sophia. It's like, yeah, it's just, it's confusing. But wait, that was our ride. Yeah, we'll be fine, Indy. It says... I am convinced the map room lies beyond the next chamber. Alas, I cannot get past the gate. I need that autocalcum detector. Too bad. He came a long way. We need the staff. It's a walking staff. Is there anything else? Our old friend, Professor Sturdy. Does he not have the stone with him? Looks like he's starved to death. How awful. I guess he knew a lot more than he let on. But not quite enough, apparently. Yeah. Oh, there's a the disc. I see it. Don't find a way out of here. It's like really far away from him, and really, really blends in. This is the world stone that Sternhart swiped in Tikal. Nothing else on Sternhart, so I will move on to the next room that I probably can't do anything with now, unless I can like hoist Sophia up into that little hole. Yeah. It operates the gate. It operates the gate. Let's see. Yes. You look great in this light. He's creepy. What's that supposed to mean? It's almost pitch dark. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Um. Yes. I have not been talking to those, to Sophia now? nearly as much as I should have. We need to open this gate. Yeah. It's a narrow crawl space. Too high to Use reach. hole. Use Sophia with hole. I don't think that'll work. It doesn't seem to open. <sighs> Listen. Yes. Go. Yes. Boost you through that hole. I've been wanting to do this since I've seen the hole. I'll bet it's full of spiders or rats or snakes. Fine, we'll just rot. 
Um, boost me. Yeah. Oh, boost me through the hole. You probably wouldn't fit. It was a good strategy, though. <laughs> What's so darn funny? I couldn't boost you as far as I trust you, let alone Fair enough. there. Uh, Sophia. Yeah. Come on. I'd rather. You probably wouldn't fit anyway. Was that a crack about my weight? Don't be such a girl. I just meant it's an awfully narrow passage. Are you saying I won't fit? I'd like to see you try. After a few days without food, we'll both fit. Oh, we're really not going anywhere until I crawl through there, are we? Afraid not. I wonder if no, the chain in the elevator doesn't exist in this Watch those area. Hands, Buster. Yeah, we're trying to not die here, Sophia. There's a pulley on this side. We'll use and then pulley it. Okay, hang on. Happy? We're not out of the woods yet, but nice going. I'm so happy that we finally got to open this freaking gate. I don't I mean I don't know where I am now. Can I get over there? We can. Great, great. Don't know why that's an obstacle then. Keep on going, Indy. No idea where we are. There's some bones. bones of previous explorers, no doubt. This looks like where we just came from. Did I have any other options? I think I did. I have one more option in this room. Nope, I didn't. Um, it's just a circle. Is there any... I don't remember having other options. <laughs> hmm. Oh, was it anything? Bones of previous explorers, no doubt. Anything? I don't need any old bones. And it's just back here. This may be where I use the orcalcum detector at some point. There's a chain running up behind the waterfall. It must be Use it. the elevator's counterweight. Hold on, Jones. Where do you think you're going? I'm climbing uh, this chain. You'd better come back. Trust me. Okay, so she's not going up with us, which is interesting. Uh, uh, ouch. <laughs> Never gets old. All right, so he's going to go off explore on his own. Wet. And then... Yes, okay, we have the statue head. Shelf here. And a bunch more rooms. Actually, no, I think this is this one where I need to go this way. This looks familiar. Nope, okay, good. Um, I need to... It's a shaft rising into the darkness. I need to do the top one first. Wait, no, I know I need to stick the thing in his thing. I don't think that'll work. Okay, I need to get... Yeah, I need to do the top one first. <laughs> Need to stick the staff in his mouth, which is actually not that much better. <laughs> this is so long and windy, but I really need that gold box. So, chuck. There, the counterweight is free. I need the box so I can put Sophia's necklace in it, I assume, and then go back down in that loop. Use the orichalcum detector. And then should un like unveil something. Who knows? Who knows? He ate my staff. Going up.
There are two more beads underneath it. I'll take them too. Take them. And is this anything? Okay. Um, use that in the box. Your calcum is now in the box. Close the box. Use the amber fish. It's not pointing anywhere. There must. Okay. So there's nothing in that room, as opposed to the wit path where there's a goddamn microtar in that room. Um. I'm gonna go back to Sophia, I think. No, yeah. 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 But what's. I need to remind myself what's in these other doors. So far, not a lot. Uh oh. Not oh, balls. That hurts. <laughs> You're fine. Okay. Where am I now? This is all, like, familiar. Oh, that's where I killed that Nazi! Bones of previous explorers, no doubt. Snub. I think this is where I killed that Nazi. It's hard to say. I can't- I can't reach it. And by kill that Nazi, I mean that there was- oh, there was like a stalactite? Yeah, and then- it, yep, 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 yep. But I didn't do it the fun way. I just punched him in the face. Sorry. Oh, this is back to the entrance. Okay. That doesn't mean I know where I am or where I'm going, but we're back at the entrance. Okay, this way I think back to Sophia. Nope. This way back to Sophia. <laughs> no? Maybe? I don't know. <sighs> yes, perfect. Here I go again. There you go. <laughs> All right, and Sophia, put your again. necklace in this box. Sophia. Yes. Uh. I forget. Do stalagmites go up or down? Hmm. Up, I think. Some date, huh? We are not dating, Joan. Follow me. Lead the. I'm fairly confident that I need her to put her necklace in the box so that I could use the orcalcum detector. Otherwise, what is this loop for? And why won't Sophia follow me out of this loop? It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Sophia? Yes? Can I borrow that necklace of yours for a while? It's bold ass. Why? Uh, look better on me. Old Nurab Sal is a bad influence. That, that is true. I think it's throwing off the orichalcum detector. So? I want to put Nurab Sal. So I want to put Nurab Sal in a box. Ha! Boxes will not hold him. Um. Sophia. Yes. Your Let's try that again. You think so? See through what? It's a chant. Just say it. Nurab Sal is a mighty king, and his eyes see through. All right. I can't give you my necklace. But tell me your plan, and I'll try to help. I want to put it in this gold box. Down the crack. Want to wear it? See what makes it tick. I no. Put it in this gold box. Just want to put it in the box. Okay, give me the box and I'll put it inside. I'm good with that. There, but just for a few minutes. Thanks. 
I hate that noise. I hate that noise so much. I have some strong PTSD from this noise. <laughs> and I don't mean to make light of it. Blank wall in the back. Yay! Blink wall! Use the wall. Seems to be crumbling a bit. Look! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> Look, an orichalcum bead. Yay! This must have been the bead that attracted the orichalcum detector. Great. Now take the gold box. I want to wear my necklace again. And I want to never hear the sound of the orichalcum detector again. <sighs> some long stints with that thing in the boxes. original playthrough. And in the frickin' action path. <sighs> Come on, door, move. Lots of grunting. Well, either Atlantis is a lot smaller than we thought, or we've found some kind of map or scale model. Laid out just as Plato described it in three concentric circles. All right, what do we need to do with our moonstone? Or world stone. Where is it? World stone. Darkest night rule the western sea. Alright, see what we can do. Doesn't seem to fit properly. Western Sea, Darkest Night. I love this cutscene. And there we go. Pick them all up. Into the chamber. Sophia, where are you? <gasps> no! Got her, you foolish Americana. Kerner. <laughs> Let's make a deal, Sophia. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Keep her, she's nothing but trouble. <laughs> Leave the girl out of this, Colonel. Fine. She's perfectly happy to join the winning team. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee her safety. Unless you hand over the stones, now! Take the stones. Just don't hurt Sophia. Don't hurt me. Just get out of here. Okay, take the stones. Just get out of here. I swear you'll never see me again. I. Anyone else for that oh, so like I will. You do this weird transformation, then fall into the lava. What a slimy toad. What a slimy toad. Okay, so um, rock wall. Hi, Nymeria. These rocks look slightly loose. Push oh, them. better than that. Use the ship rib. You know, I Man. think one of the rocks is starting to move. This ship rib really comes in handy. Oh, we have we have a whole U-boat thing. Oh, I thought we were like done. Forget about Jones. How can you expect a man to lead you through Atlantis when he can't even find a way out of the labyrinth? And you're practically an Atlantis tour guide, I suppose? We have charted an underwater entrance to the lost city. Right. Together, we will discover its secrets. Okay. Good luck. You have a choice, Brian. She does the same hair flip that the, the uh, Kerner does. Or join your friend, another They'd actually make good friends. <sighs> well, how can I refuse hospitality like that? I'm curious where this is going now. <laughs> the hair flips. They're so in sync. <sighs> Scrunting. Hey, so I get to the labyrinth. Yep. <laughs> Let's go on it. Alright. 
So this should be about the same as it was, I imagine. Looks nasty. Use it. You can't use it. Risk killing a passing marlin. Okay, there's the hatch. Halt! Uh oh. I'm the captain here, and I don't tolerate stowaways. Um, let's stow him a runaway. Sub captain, sub human, wrong, wrong boat. Sorry, wrong boat. Wrong or not, you're under arrest. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Is that a game over? Looks like I'm captain now. Whoa, <laughs> we're getting underway. I should probably not be on the top of the submarine. The other captain's now dead. Let's hope we're headed for Atlantis. True that. Oh, I want to save really bad. You know, I can save at any time, and I will. Team save number four. Oh, I see it. It says Flugel Doofel. Use it. That won't work. Uh, Captain commands all hands to the bow. All hands to the stern torpedo bay. Midship. Uh, torpedo bay. This. All hands to the stern torpedo bay. In English. <laughs> so if they're all at the torpedo bay, I can do the things I need to do on the other side. Launcher. Okay. Um, nothing in the lockers. Let's keep on going. Oh, yes. Um, bread. I pick it up. I'll take a couple of slices. Porcelain mug. Uh, pick up the cold cuts. Mind if I do. Uh, use them with the bread. Making the sandwich again. Submarine. Lover. Labeled Ausgeschnitzel. That doesn't Excellent. quite work. <laughs> Let us switch. It's labeled Krauskefarben. Okay. Um. Can I go down? I go down somehow. Oh, there. Oh, um, is this? Oh, battery well, acid. Is leaking. That stuff looks pretty corrosive. Interesting. Can I pick up any of the corrosive? Okay, the clay jar is full of acid. Nice. This is going smoothly. Um. Okay. So everyone's at the torpedo bay. Gotcha, gotcha. As instructed. This is going well. What else do we got? So I should have free-ish reign of this side of the ship. Hi, Nymeria, you are in between me and what I'm doing. Okay, that's the head. We don't need to use the head. Oh, what's in here? Got a flag. Uh, torpedo tube. Open it. Okay. And I can also go down here. I can't reach okay. it. There's a strong box. It doesn't look that strong oh. to me. It doesn't seem to open. Relax! We are approaching a civilization that played with the forces of nature the way we play with toys! Come now, don't exaggerate. How else do you explain the wonders of Archicalcum or the stone discs? Hmm. What have you done with the stone? Calm down. They're right behind you in the captain's strong box. Oh. Oh, where was I? I can't move. I can't move it. It doesn't seem to open. It doesn't look that strong to me. All right, ship rib. <laughs> Whoops, that didn't work. Oops. 
Oh, the battery acid. Whoa, the acid's eating right through the metal. Nice. Here are the stone discs. There's a small key in here too. Nice. This is going so well. <sighs> the trap door is in the way. Um, what's in here? Nothing there. Okay, there's doesn't seem to be any reason to open any of those doors. And then, oh wait, I don't want to go down that ladder because that's where Sophia is. I want to go up the ladder. I want to order everyone to the other side, I think. Uh, your captain commands. Right, he has done that. Just want to see what we got on this other end here. And then I have the small key as well. Which seems like it'll be handy. Heidi. The torpedo. It's a bundle of tangled wires. Can't pick them up, right? And fry myself? Okay. Uh, we don't have the the rag anymore. So we just said the wires, right? Hold on, what did that say? It said torpedo something. Yes, torpedo two. Okay. It's a oh. bundle of tangled wires. It won't open. It must be broken. What can I use? Yeah, I, this this cat's in the way by a long, long shot. Um, mm -hmm. that porcelain mug. Hmm. The only other thing I can think to do is to go down the ladder where Sophia is. Let's just see what happens. Indy! Jones, where? Sorry. Must have been my imagination. <sighs> okay. I don't I don't want to walk to the guard. That noise? I could have sworn I heard something. I didn't hear anything. <sighs> Grr. So Can I go if I go down here? I can't go to the right, can I? Oh, I can. Thumb screws. I'd rather die. Sophia. Indy? Jones can't save you now, madam. Uh, wait. I'm getting a message. A message from Nurab Sal. Nurab what? An old friend from Atlantis. His spirit is calling me. Can you get rid of the guard? Alas, Nurab Sal is weak and far away. Tell Nurab Sal that I've got a plan. Nurab Sal is listening. Uh, why don't you sick him on the guard, distract the guard for a while? Well, what does Nurab Sal suggest? Nurab Sal is confused. Let's try another- Nurab Sal- Distract the guard. Just as- Nurab Sal understands all. Wait. What? Oh, darn. I've lost contact. Too bad. So if she distracts the guard, I think the tiny key is for the steering wheel. Which that makes sense. So all the crew is in the back. Or for I don't know. Excuse me, Mr. Guard person. What is it now? I need a I was just wondering. Yes. Oh, it's probably nothing. What can I you use on him? To finish your sentence. Oops, I ate in the sandwich. That's not what I meant to do in this moment. You know, you look it's a particularly sharp ship. Who are you? Talk fast, and I better like your tone of voice, or you're a dead uh -oh. man. Uh. Who are you, Buckethead? Tell your future looks pale. Oh, I'm seeing what they're doing I'm here. Staff archaeologist, got any buckets? What do you want with a bucket? That's, they're giving me the hint. Oh, yep, okay. 
Nice work. Sorry, I skipped that. I got very anxious with the cat. Uh, <laughs> do you know how to run this boat? Do you know how to run this boat? Are you kidding, Jones? I'm a spiritualist. That worked out well. I thought I'd ruined that. I'm going to look around. I'm going to look around and use the key okay. on the steering wheel. I don't need the plunger, apparently, because I wouldn't have been able to get it from that room. Now it's unlocked. It's a wheel. Use it. That doesn't quite work. I'd look at the guard. He's big and mean and out like a light. Good. Um. Hmm. Wait. So. That doesn't quite. Oh. Work. Was it's it? Don't wheel. I? Don't I like to use like find a instruction manual? Aren't you coming? I'll just stay here and make sure Sleeping Beauty Fair enough. wake up. Um, can I get the plunger from there actually? Sorry. <laughs> I want to double check before I walk out. Yes. It's a plumber's helper. Pick it up. Who knows? It might come in handy. I don't want to walk out there. Can I use the plunger with the head? I don't know why. I don't think that'll work. It will not work. Um, close the head. And then all of the strapping young men are there. Nothing else down here. Nothing in the closet. Okay. So I have the wires. What can I use with the wires? I'm going to just try using things with the wires. Double checking there's nothing here. Oh, can I use the plunger on the torpedo tube? I don't think that'll work. Okay. Thought it would give me some leverage. Do any good. All right, trying to I don't think that will do any just good. use everything. I don't think that will do any good. I don't think that will do any good. No, I don't want to eat the sandwich. Okay. Um, whip. I don't think that will do any good. I don't think that it won't open. It must be broken. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to order all the strapping young men back to the other side of the ship. I don't know why I would want them in the middle, because if they're in the middle, then they're in my way, right? Am I crazy? It's starting to get very humid in here, and my hair is going pwah. Let's see what happens. Let's see where they are if they're midship. Uh, Yep, that's not what I want. I'm a dead man if I go down there while those Nazis are around. All right, torpedo, uh, babe. Now here they. Back to the other side. With my plunger. I don't think things are that desperate. Okay, so he's not gonna climb into the torpedo tube. Um, is there anything else here? Huh. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, I don't know why I would do that. So we still have the wires and we still have the torpedo tube. Okay, let me go talk to Sophia. She might have an idea. This went very, very smoothly at the beginning and now I have hit a wall. Sorry, cat's cute. Sophia. What? What do we do now? Kerner claims there's an underwater entrance to Atlantis near here. Let's mm -hmm. find it. It's a wheel. That doesn't quite work. Is there anything else here? I don't think that'll work. <laughs> no. I don't think that'll work. It's a wheel. Oh. I just had to freaking push out. Okay, no, no. Are you are you are you kidding me? Okay, that's doing. Okay, if I click, then it turns around. That doesn't quite work. Hmm. 
I see the airlock. Is there a control that I'm missing here? He automatically turns around when he hits that wall. What about when he hits this wall? Does he automatically? I'm doing nothing. Do I need more parts? He seems smaller. Why does he seem so much smaller? Come, come back, ship. What have I done? I can't turn this way anymore. Which means that this way must be what would make us go closer. What if I press and hold? What is happening? The conning tower? It says Flugel Doofel. Okay, I'm not getting out of the sub. I am confirmed that with basic logic. <laughs> what am I doing? Hold. I'm looking this up. Okay, so I need to fix a bunch of stuff. So I'm not ready to control the ship yet. So the next thing that it told me to do is to fix the depth lever, which I assume I have to do with the plunger. But I don't know where the depth lever is. They're like saying these things like I've seen, like. It's labeled Krauske Farben. I walk to the ass. It says there's one in the aft section and two in the ship center. Is that it? It's labeled Ausgeschnitzel. That doesn't quite work. It's labeled Kraut. Oh, no. Oh, the. When the hints don't help me, it's when we're in real trouble. <laughs> okay, so there's two different walkthroughs that I'm finding for this game. One says I don't need to do any, like, some of them don't really specify Team's Path or not, but they all say Sophia. So I'm, I don't know. But it said, like, if I use this, that won't work. it breaks off, which it doesn't. Doesn't seem to open. Talk to the lever. Pull the lever. Wonderful. It snapped right off. It fits. And then you just go straight into Atlantis. Then you just go straight into Atlantis. Watch him go. Oh, fart. All right. do the other things. So it's probably those two things. I just have to push or pull them instead of use them. So if I pull the lever and then pull the switch. <sighs> Fricks the boat. Okay, so now we should be able to do this. That has four settings. Where's the boat? <laughs> So that's going to be depth. So I want it to go up so I can see where it's going. Oh, um, we don't need to go up anymore. I gotta wait for it to do its thing. stopped. Oh, this is speed. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and this is depth, and then this is going to be just nothing. Just no music. 
Here's some music for this part. I don't know what you do. That was the reverse switch. Reverse switch, speed lover, depth switch. This is the switch that reverses the sub's engines. That doesn't quite work. I can't pick that up. No. <sighs> I figured out how to use the reverse switch. But first... Need to get this right depth. I just can't use it at this depth. But then this does nothing. It still goes behind the mountain. I'm also just now realizing that the depth thing is an off, up, or down. It's not three levels of depth, which that's a long way to get into this without realizing that. Oh my gosh, I figured out how to get, oh my God. I have finally figured out how to get the frickin' submarine closer. And I... The rudder's locked. Great. Um, let's go up a little bit. And then stop, please. The Thank rudder's you. locked. Okay, I know, I know, I think. I'm gonna go a little further in. Stop. I go down a little bit. Then stop. And I'll go backwards. Stop. Go down, stop, go backwards. of feet below sea level yet there's enough air pressure to keep the water out how is it possible welcome to atlantis indy all right so she has to get kidnapped at some point so we'll oh this is gonna be the ladder it feels like a ladder pick up the ladder go over here should be able to use the ladder on something over here but like man Get your hands off me, Jones. Jones? Hey, you're not Jones. Ooh. Bindi. Oh, Kerner. That's how she gets kidnapped. And from here on out, everything should be the same. Sophia?
Where's the ladder? Where's Indy? Can't do it. I'm not. I'm not clicking on anything. I mean, this might be as good a time as any to save and call it quits if this is starting to break, and I'm seeing that we're near the endpoint here. See what happens when it lights up a little bit. It's just yeah. And they're even on it. Just keeps disappearing. Okie doke. Let's see. Are you just climbing up and down the ladder? Oh, he is broken. Oh no. I put the ladder down as she got abducted and it glitched the game. And Indy is stuck in a forever loop of climbing up and down the ladder and that's how we're going to end this. Sophia dies and Indy is... Indy's doing his thing. This is how... This is how, uh... The, the saga ends. Well, that's good. That's nice. <laughs> so yeah, that was the team path. I like I like that there was you could actually finally go into the hotel in Monte Carlo Monte Carlo because that always bugged me that it was a location with a door but you couldn't go into the door and there was nothing there except like a quick conversation with Trottier so I'm glad that that was flushed out. Other locations were generally similar, like the dig site was similar, um, the uh, surveying gear that was similar or the exact same I should say. What else was there? Oh yeah, Algiers had some differences. We had the grocer and the knife throwing, so that was a good change of pace. The U-boat was pretty different. That was... I've already suppressed that. I've already suppressed the fact that the U-boat exists. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I liked it. And yeah, my favorite part was the Monte Carlo expansion and diving into that a little bit more. Um, so, this is it. I finally finished all three paths of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. This is a good break. I know I've been playing a lot of Quest for Glory and I haven't really been peppering in too many other things recently. Been in a bit of a, a one game slump, but um, yeah, I should be coming out of that soon. Maybe um, finding some more games to play alongside the Quest for Glory series. So keep tuned for that. I don't know what I'm gonna pick. So yeah, take care. And I'm glad that you were able to come along on this little adventure of Indiana Jones. So see you next time. Bye.